today's video partners very well with last week's video um, on the homemade biscuits. This is sausage gravy to go with our homemade biscuits. And I have made some more of those biscuits today. Um, so I am using the Beyond Meat. Um, I use one box of the classic and one box of the spicy. Um, the spicy is not overly spicy. It just adds a really good flavor to your gravy. So we cook these, I started them, I just have a nonstick skillet. You could totally use um, a cast iron skillet. Um, I wanted to try it in my cast iron skillet, but I didn't have a big enough one that wasn't holding my biscuits already. Um, all right, we're gonna flip these and I think our biscuits are gonna beep at me here momentarily. We'll take those out. So we're gonna cook these for about three minutes a side, okay? And just like you would if you're gonna use, so this is actually my recipe that I would use for regular sausage, pork sausage, uh, when I used to make it, okay? So we're gonna cook these for just a couple more minutes. Uh, okay, then what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the mix and chop and we're gonna break this into like sausage crumble. And then we'll add our flour to create our roux, and we're using kind of the, the juices from the sausage um, to do that. And we'll add some salt and pepper, and then the key is going to be slowly adding our milk and kind of like whisking that together using our um, nonstick. Uh, this is like a silicone whisk. I really love it. It's um, my favorite for um, kind of creating a, a roux. So, um, Let's uh, let's get to let's get to getting. Here we go. Okay. Oh, time to take out our biscuits. Okay. And it's also time to flip our sausage and break that into crumbles. So let's give these a look. If you uh, wear glasses. Okay, our biscuits look pretty beautiful there. So we're gonna just put them together and get our gravy going. Okay, so we're just gonna take the mix and chop. If you haven't seen this before, it breaks your ground meats. So if you're cooking like um, ground beef, ground turkey, this is one of my very favorite tools. Um, Cause even the plant protein, it works really well. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of break that into crumbles. And then once we have it kind of a nice consistency, we'll add in our flour and make that roux. And a roux is important for any kind of gravy making. It's gonna keep your uh, gravy from tasting too much like flour. Okay, and you can decide how big you want your crumbles to be. They don't need to be tiny because we're fans of the plant sausage. Want a little texture to the gravy. So that looks pretty good. If you ask me. Knock off any extras. Okay. Now we are going to add our flour. So just kind of a third of a cup of flour. We're going to just add that. Um, and then just kind of start stirring that around and it's gonna kind of coat the sausage and it's gonna like soak up any of the juices that were in there and see how the whisk has a nice bend to it thus being my favorite for making gravy okay i also like to hold the handle so we're gonna switch that around there okay so we're also gonna add salt and pepper to taste um i like to do about a half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of pepper, and then add more after I've kind of created the gravy, like to taste, so that I don't like overdo it. Cause I can always add more, but you can't take it away. Okay, so that's about 12 to 13 turns. Okay, I'm about ready for some more peppercorns there. All right, so now this is the fun part. 
we are going to start adding our milk slowly in. Again, I am again using unsweetened almond milk. Um, the, again, you want to just pour in a little bit at a time and you'll see it just kind of start to absorb and take that milk and start to create a gravy. Okay. This was something I had been excited to try because I will definitely admit biscuits and gravy is one of my favorite breakfast foods. And um, I've tried it at a few places and it was decent, but I feel like I've kind of dialed in at my recipe here and this is darn delicious. Slosh it around like me. Okay. And you can kind of see how it starts to thicken up if you just add a little bit at a time. Okay. And we'll just keep keep doing that. Turn the oven off. <laughs> All right, here we go. I will say that as far as like when you kind of want a little treat, you want something that tastes like meat but is you know plant protein. I really am a big fan of the Beyond Meat products. I usually get them at Sprouts. Um, like on sale here in Arizona. Right. And it totally tastes like actual pork sausage. They really nailed the flavors there, I will say that. Okay, we're almost there. We've almost got all of our milk in. And then we'll kind of taste it and just let it, you know, kind of simmer for a few minutes. And then um, we'll serve it over our piping hot biscuits that are there. But I hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, just go back in. Put the last little bit there. Um, my sausage gravy and um, biscuits. It is become a quick favorite at our house and um, totally uh, something fun that you could do uh, for like Christmas morning breakfast or something like that. So anyway, all right guys, I'm just gonna let this simmer a little bit more and then I will uh, throw a picture at the end with my um, biscuits and gravy ready to enjoy. But. Again, just going to kind of let this come to a simmer a little bit and um, give it a taste. Make sure I don't need any um, additional salt or pepper. And um, it's that easy to make a quick sausage gravy. Sausage gravy. Um, all right. We'll see you guys again soon.